Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Admin Joe, and we're here with the coach interviews of the Townsville Crocodiles. Welcome, Jaden. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for having me. How's it going, man? How's it feel to be on the other side of the world and participating in an American Draft League? It has its challenges, right? Um, it's very difficult to organize fun battles. Um, being about 15 hours behind, or 15 hours in front of everybody else. Um, but we we'll work to make it work, and um, it's been clearly working for me, so I'm glad to be a part of it, and I'm glad to be one of the more competitive coaches. Oh, yeah, man. You're sitting at a fair uh, four and two. You're about to battle Steven. And if you win, you are for sure locked into the playoffs. Um, how, do you, how do you feel your battle is going to turn out against uh, Mr. Steven over there of the, uh, the Magic Harpies? Um, I haven't actually battled Steven before. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he battles. Uh, I'm not going to let the lady current form just a little bit distracting from the fact that uh, it's going to be a tough battle. Um, he's, well, he's on six at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he is on six. Yeah. That's um, not something that's taken into consideration at all. Um, he's just an extra opponent. He's something that's got to be able to take into consideration. Uh, we've got to, we've just got to take it step by step, look at his team, and see what the weaknesses are before he pulls out next battle. Um, if we win, we get through. If we don't, then, then I think Dusty makes it through in my place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that's honest. Um, well... Honestly, right now you have a great differential compared to Dusty, and uh, after today's battle, I five zero Dusty. So pretty much, no matter what, win or lose, you make the playoffs. Depend, uh, yeah, you make the playoffs no matter what. Um, I guess really depending on um how badly either uh, Riley or Norman loses their battle. Yeah. So yeah, I, Riley, I was, I was very nervous. I saw um saw your and Jordan Duffy's battle on, on the Facebook page. Um, I had to skip to the end straight away to see who won. I was glad to see that you won. Uh, I'm not happy about the fact that you, that you topped the group. I'm ha- happy with the fact that you um, got rid of Dusty for potential in the finals. So it made my life a little bit easier. Honestly, I didn't expect to do that good in that battle. But uh, Dust, yeah. Dusty... Um, he 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 made some predictions. They didn't work out in his favor, and luckily I got the win on that one. Yeah, yeah. Dusty's a bit dusty, I think. Um, uh, yes. So, um, taking the next battle, Steve. I'm not sure when that's going to be scheduled. I, I think I've reached out to him, but um, I haven't checked the messages in a fair while, so he might not got back to me. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go with that battle. Um, we make, make it, it. I got a, it'll be you and Norman in the finals, and those are both games I've lost previously. So the, the, the defense of the current title is looking a bit shaky, but I'm still confident that we can still tell that. So yeah, for sure I'm in it, luckily, but um, uh, not sure if Riley or Norman will be taking the spot to battle against you if you win against uh, Steven. Mm. So it, it could be either or. It just depends yeah. on how that outcome comes out because they are fairly even and uh, it at, at the differential they're at, no matter who wins, uh, the outcome is who wins is who goes in, is what yeah. I was trying to say. That's the, the big beauty of, that, of our side of the draft league. Um, it's very, very tight. Uh, I'm not sure what it's like over in the Canto um, conference, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's more clear cut than someone was saying. I think it was Dave who was saying that it was more clear cut on their side. It was very, very um, I think David and um, the Clone Gang was, was guaranteed to make it along with someone else. I don't, I don't really pay attention to what goes on the other side of the graph. <laughs> I'm sort of focused on what's happening on my end, what I have to do to qualify the finals, and to improve how what I need to do to win. Oh, well, believe it or not, um, at this point, uh, earlier, Clan Gang played Ha Run, uh, the Mannheimer Machamps, and uh, my ha- Mannheimer Machamps has won by a significant uh, differential, so uh, Ha Run is currently number one, so uh, David has to play Jesse first round of the playoffs. Oh, Ha Run's not really well this round, so I, I haven't 
really be paying attention to unless there's something going on. But I think he's blossom. Was it, he's, he's running a blossom set. Isn't he? Yeah, he he, <laughs> he does have that blossom quiver dance set up. Oh, yes. Yeah, so he's doing very well. He's done very well with the Pokemon that we would know we would take it too well with. Um, but yeah, full credit to him. So we'll just come and burst on that. <laughs> well, to focus more on our side, um, yep. who do you feel was the most competitive battle for this season for you so far? I think against Riley. Um, it, it's something a bit special about having another Australian um, in this craft league. So Australian versus Australian, you want to like a local derby match, like you want to do well against your mm-hmm. against your um, local rival, and we were neck and neck uh, in our battle. We, we in the time we finished at two all, um, not a lot splitting us. Uh, I only got the win on HP only. Um, very very satisfied. <laughs> yeah, he. Um, he was kind of salty about that win. Uh, can you can you kind of go in depth on how that played out? Um, oh, I have to rack my brain a little bit because it's been a little while. Um, but basically, what I think happened was um, he had he had Broden mode out, and he had um, something else left in the back. Um, I can't remember who he had in the back. But I know I had Colbert out and Roserade, a scarf Roserade in the back as well. So it, it all came down to um, yeah, it all came down to like whether the Max Hunt would have taken out um, Roman Mode and um, whoever was in the back. Um, and we'll remember the scarf Roserade from taking out or whoever's, whoever's in the back. Like, it was really, really like it had to be a, such a strict like sequence of events to see who would have won. Um, but yeah, it was really, really tight, really, really close. Like, I got mentioned because me and Riley and Dusty all got to a group chat to try and discuss what would happen with the outcome. And um, it was a really, you know, full credit to Riley, who was very mature about it. it was, you no know, one was pointing fingers at you to say, oh, no, we definitely would have won. And it was really mature, really, you know, we don't know who we would have won. That's why we sort of thought, you know, maybe this could be a a realistically good draw. Yeah, and I know y'all agreed on the draw, but um, clearly the that rules, was the, 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 the yeah the rules didn't allow it, so he got a little bit saltier about that. But I'm glad he understood at the end of the day. You know, that's just the way it was. Cause um, but, you know yeah. that that was just kind of the thing we had to deal with due to timer and. Not having a way to work around it, so. Yeah, no, the time has been an issue for me. Um, having, I, I like to play a little bit more um, a balanced game rather than a hyper offense game. Um, having a couple of defensive pivots, if something to pivot into, if something's going to hit hard, um, trying to get the status off, trying to you know trying to get the attack and take and cripple the big attackers. And this new timer is um, really really. Uh, hinders that approach a lot and I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that too um, it just means I have to play a bit more offensively in coming into the new into the new generation into the new meta so um, it's, 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 it's a new gameplay style I'm not quite used to which is where, where I think that four and, it's where the two losses have come and I've tried playing more offensively and it hasn't really worked yeah, and um, honestly, uh, Riley's been telling me about how his play style has to been being adjusted as well. As you said, he was your most difficult opponent so far. Um, he is more of a bulky play style, not necessarily stall, but uh, he does like uh, to play bulky offensive and set up the defense on his Pokemon as he plays. So, due to the timer issue, he... Everyone has had to play a little different. Uh, I will say uh, I haven't had to play much different because I don't really... I, I, I mainly play hyper-offensive, so I'm kind of used to that kind of play style. So that's the only reason I feel like I'm doing so good in this draft so far. But uh, it might come back to bite me in the playoffs. So it I, I never know. Mm, no, you can't never know. But um, I think... Yeah, it, it, this is for play style. Um, 
the hyper offense, I don't mind the hyper offense, but it's just I feel like we need to cover some Pokemon. Like the Pokemon I've chosen for this league, this draft is just the, the every Pokemon has a purpose. So that, like, <laughs> like going through the draft, thinking what do I want to do with the with the league? What do I, how do I want to build my team? Do I want to just build around specific Pokemon? Do I want to build around a, a specific um, battle style? Um, but every Pokemon I picked has had a purpose. Um, even though I haven't played Go Lurk, um, Go Lurk did have a specific purpose to cover. <laughs> but um, even Go Lurk has a even Go has a purpose. Honestly, Go Lurk has been putting in a lot of work for you, and that leads into my next question: um, Who do you feel is the MVP of your team so far this season? <laughs> um, Why? Because you got the kill on my yeah. Dragon Ball. Yeah, I love. I love, <laughs> I love for that. But no, um, confidence is definitely I mean, honestly, one of the best games I've had was against you, honestly. Um, uh, I honestly don't think without Sylveon, I would have won that game. No, no. I, no. <laughs> I, I think without the change in the... Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that Sylveon had yet got access to the fire this generation. But I thought I was safe with um, Frostlass in the... Not Frostlass, um, Frostmoth. Yeah. I thought I was safe with Frostmoth in the end, um... See, I, for- well. See, I, I forgot. See, I forgot. I forgot what the fuck the name of that Pokemon was too. I was just calling it. Uh, um, what's the uh, Snom? I was just calling it oh, Big yeah. Snom. <laughs> <Big> Snom. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, oh, it's also it's also Mystical Fire as well. But the um the special attack from it really is what um killed what killed me. I think um obviously there's a few misplays before then. I think um well, I went back over the video that you posted and. I shouldn't have had caught me out against um against Steelix. Um, because the memento dropped minus dropped your Steelix's attack and special attack by two stages. But it didn't really need to. I think if I just sent out Conquer there, you know, I could have just taken I probably could have taken it out with it with a drain punch. Uh the the Sylveon? No 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 no, no. the the Dynamax Steelix. Oh. Okay. Uh honestly I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really calc that. Uh, I was max HP, max attack, so I don't know if it would have taken it out, but I know yeah, you would have lived no matter. I know you would have lived any hit that I would have done to it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure about it. It would have been. I think it could have been. I think it's, I could have been better played having Conkled her out instead of caught me because I know Steelix got a KO on um, on something. It was might it might have been Jolteon. Um. But yeah, I think it would be better off having Conkle Dora out for that for that particular move. But that's okay. It's it, it's learning for next time, learning for the finals. <laughs> we're gonna come back stronger, and we're gonna we're gonna retain this title. All right. Well, ho- hopefully that's not true. But uh, leading on to <laughs> <laughs> leading on to the next question, um, I was thinking, uh, you entered this draft, and I want to know what made you attracted. To the way PML style draft appealed to you. So I entered. I'm not sure how many drafts I've been in previously, but I entered, the first draft I entered, I entered into. I um, 
I don't even know how I got into PML. I think I just followed um, some sh some share for chairs, and then um, I liked the idea of being in um, the draft league. So I like different little um, play style. Like you know, once the rules were explained, you know, we're going to have like different tiers of Pokemon, and you only pick one Pokemon, and once that Pokemon's picked, you can't pick it. And I was like, okay, that's actually a pretty cool concept. I like I like the, like the, the exclusivity of having a singular Pokemon for a team, um, and using the like the main, like filling out the rest of your team with lower level Pokemon, which is exactly how, in my view, exactly how um, sports teams operate. Like you have all the all the professional footballers and um, basketball players, but you have your elite team. You have your elite um, players at the very very top, and the rest are just um, uh, they're professional players, but they're just a cut below the like the best, like LeBron James, like LeBron James's and the Kobe Bryant's and like they're the absolute best of the best. Like I just thought that was, that was a really cool concept. And I want to be a part of it. Just give it, even just give it a whirl. Um, the first draft I did, um, I think I came last out of. I think I won maybe one game out of seven. Um, but the second one did quite well, and I and I won. I, it was a, I was, I think uh, in the second draft, I won my first two games, lost my second two games, and then won every game from there on. Yeah. Well, but yeah, now I'm in the now I'm in the third draft, the third continuing draft, and um, it looks like we're gonna make <clears throat> looks like we're gonna make the finals again, <laughs> and um, hopefully, hopefully, and hopefully we can retain it. Well, you're definitely gonna make the playoffs, uh, opposing uh, according to their opponent and what most people say about your opponent. Um, but yeah. but I really want to know what 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 about PML draft league a, appeals to you? Like what what do what? we do different that most draft leagues don't? I think it's like the, it's the friendly camaraderie. Like, like we're we're all we're all trying to win the league, but we all have a good time trying to do it too. Like the PML, um, the um. The group chat's always a great. It's always a lot of fun to go into. Like every time I get a message, I, I straight away go into it because like, I don't want to miss anything that's going on. Um, the hype, we build the hype a lot better. Um, like you, Morgan, Dusty, all the other admins, like, you do such a great job in, in advertising the league and like putting it on a single draft ladder and well, even just the, just the ladder generally, the PML ladder. Um, I, we appreciate that very much. But um, it makes me want to like you know do these interviews and put up the um, the week by week results that I've haven't been putting up recently because I just got back from a holiday. Oh yeah. Um, but um, very or, or, this makes me want to be involved more. There's a lot of hype around it. <laughs> that that's great to hear, man. We really like to uh, try to strive for PML to be the best draft league out there, and I know there's a lot of draft leagues to compete with. So to hear that that that's great. That that's uh, great feedback from you, man. No worries. And um, uh, to end this interview, there's uh, pretty much an overall question about your team. Um, did you have a strategy going into your draft? And if so, were you successful in achieving that strategy? Yeah, I think I had a strategy. I, I, I tried to really retain the same group of Pokemon that I had from the last league. So the last league, I managed to get hold of Vaporeon and Jolteon as well. Um, but in my in the last league, um, I had Incineroar and um, Mega Medicham as two Pokemon as that I use as, I use as well, like the, for hard hitting and um, the Intimidate support. Um, try Mobile made like a made for a bulkier um, offensive team. So I tried to sort of replicate that as much as possible um, in the next in this league as well. But it ha it's worked with some success. Um, I think I think this league. <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of a sore throat. But I, I think um, this this league is um, for this draft league in particular. I think is a good chance for me to sort of explore the um, the mechanics of Gen Eight and. Um, Try and see exactly how Dynamaxing works, um, which is why I picked Cottony. Cottony wasn't well, Cottony was a strange pick. I think um, everyone thought it was a strange pick, but um, I saw that going into it, I saw it was a um, had, pr had Prankster as its hidden ability, 
Well, actually, it wasn't even a hidden ability. It was a standard ability. It had Prankster as an ability, and it had Memento. So I knew that I needed to have something to stop Dynamaxing. Like, if I could, if I lost the Pokemon to a Dynamax Pokemon, by Dynamax attack, I could send out Cottony and get the Memento Prankster off. It, it, and, was, um, it was certainly a, a surprise Pokemon against me, because I thought you had um, Whimsicott. I, I saw Cottony. But in my head, uh, Whimsicott was what I pictured the whole time I was prepping for your team. So when I saw actual Cottony, I was like, oh, fuck, even like Cottony. That, that's not what I was expecting, you know? So it mm-hmm. kind of threw me off. And I'm sure it threw a couple of people, other people off as well. I think so. And actually, in actual fact, it wasn't if I like Cottony either. It was holding a berry. Oh, because, really? um. Yeah, it was um, because its move pool has it's got substitute, protect, uh, leech seed, and memento. It's a it's a purely passive Pokemon. So the idea being, the idea being, it's just it's just, just to try and stall out the Dynamax. And the way if I can stall out the Dynamax, I can then Dynamax my own Pokemon and go and run rampant, which it works with. It has worked to varying success. I just didn't know how quite how powerful. Um, Dynamax was, um, and whether my team could actually hold it together without, without Cottony, um, because I know I know Smogan, um, pretty much quick banned it. I know they went to vote, but it it was pretty much it was, I think it was a bit quick that they they did ban it. Yeah, I think. But, um, I think Smogon is a little soft for doing that. That's why uh, I'm glad uh, I have my own format here in PML, where we can yeah allow, we we can allow that kind of stuff and. Uh, People can enjoy the actual use of uh, the gameplay of Gen Eight. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's right or wrong. I think it's it is, but I think it is what it is. I think maybe it was it was too quick to ban. Maybe we should have maybe Spogan should have looked at um, whether there was actual actual legitimate counterplay. But I'm not I'm not sure. There's a lot. I just play casually. I play for fun. I play. <laughs> I try to play hard. But um, there's people out there who think who have very strong opinions out and um, they're entitled to those views. And but um, yeah, the, the end result being I wanted to try and try I wanted to try and um, circumvent Dynamaxing altogether and Cottony um, lived through um, Dynamax attacks with substitute and um, getting those guaranteed substitutes off. And then even if it got some passive damage, it could heal itself with the berry. And then once the Dynamax ended, I could then um, Memento out, lowering it, any attack. Like if they boosted, the, if the Dynamax Pokemon boosted its attack, it would drop back to zero. Um, if it boosted defenses it, or it boosted speed, it would just be a fast boy and not really doing anything much. Yeah, I feel you on that. I, I, I saw you do that against me. And, you know, uh, plans don't always work out. Uh, I feel like you had a real good strategy against me. Uh, uh, sadly, honestly, my hydrate, my Dragapult was not e would properly. So you still when, got you still got stumped by Jolteon. Yeah, it still got stumped by Jolteon. I, I mean, honestly, I wasn't gonna Dynamax it anyway, so it would have got one hit killed. But it still kind of sucked to see my Dragapult go down so early in that match. But you have been a fierce competitor, and I have enjoyed you in uh, the PML draft, man. And huh. I'm glad you decided to join. Thanks. Um, yeah, no, it's been an absolute pleasure battling. Um, I, I try and keep low under the radar, try and do, um, just be the best battler I can be. Um, this league helps bring that out. Um, but I try and be the best in the in the league, and my goal is to hit that number one in the ladder. But it's very hard to, when you and Dusty and Morgan are all vying for that same spot and very very <laughs> consistent and strong performers. So I was in top three for a little while, and Morgan's put some heavy points in, in between him and I now. So it's a bit of a long shot now. But if I keep, if I keep winning, it's gonna come back. I'll get back to the top three. I'm sure you'll get there, man. And um. Lastly, but not leastly, I do want to say, um, uh, according to your opponent this week, depending on if you win, uh, surely I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna win this. 
uh, you'll be facing um, either Norman or Riley in your first round of playoffs. Strategically, who would you rather face? And or do you just have a preference regardless of strategy that you would like to face in general? Um, I think for me, I think I'd like to see Riley in the finals, um, mainly because we're both Australian and I'd love to see, if I can't retain it, I'd love to see an Australian retain it, retain the title. Um, even, even if he is like the, the local rivalry, I'd like to see an Australian hold the, hold the title again. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I also think um, I'd like to see Riley in the final as well because I'm more familiar with his team because he was I prepared really, really hard for his team. Also, Norman's centre scorch is... Um, I wasn't expecting centre scorch, and now he's really, really done good <laughs> things with this. And I'm not sure that I can counter it very well, so... If I can avoid centre scorch at all at all costs, I think it'd be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. Nor- I I got lucky on Norman week one, but I feel like he's developed uh, with this team as the weeks have gone on. So I think so too. Hey, does he have does he have Drakovich as well? Um. Yes, he does. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather see Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. I was able to deal with Drakovich pretty well. And I, uh, I don't, I don't think you brought Drakovich against me. I think because I had Vaporeon and Fishes Rams is is um gets hard countered by Vaporeon. See, but, and, um, and that's why I brought uh, Jellicent with Water Absorb, but he still brought it. So I guess he was really relying on that crunch ability with Strong Jaw. Mm, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, because um, when we did the um the singles tournament, I think it was, I brought my draft team against everyone who was bringing Dracovicious, and I won that. Um, Dracovish didn't do too much to Vaporeon anyway. I kept switching into, I kept switching uh, heaps of times into into crunches, and it didn't do a lot. Um, just vicious rend is just a painful move. It, that is a really busted move. Oh, you can say it. it's just a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it truly is. If it, if it gets up on you, it's it's um pretty much a guaranteed win, I think. Oh yeah. <sighs> but, um, yeah. But uh, Jaden, it's been great talking with you, man. Uh, you are the coach of the Townsville Crocodiles, and you are ready to take on the playoffs, man. Uh, I know uh, Stephen is in your way, but really not much. Uh, after Dusty's defeat of negative five, pretty much you're locked into the playoffs. And you'll be facing either Norman or Riley, depending on who wins in the outcome of that game. And then after that, uh, I guess we'll just do an interview the next following week of both coaches after round one of the playoffs. So hopefully we'll get to talk to you again. Sounds good. Thanks for that, Joe, and thanks for the demolition on um, on Dusty, so it makes my life a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, no problem, man. I was hoping <laughs> it would turn out that way, and luckily I was in a pussy, and I pulled the trigger on that Dragapult sweep. Yeah. Well, and also congratulations on finishing first in the new um, Galar League too, mate. Um, well deserved. We were very, very um, tough competitive this draft, but... This is where it ends, and this and I will be <laughs> making the uh, the grand final. Alrighty, man. Well, thank you for taking time out of your day to do this interview. Um, any last words you would like to say to PML fans to support you during this playoff run? Um, support the Townsville Crocodiles. Um, we do it. We're doing our best. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I actually. I, I don't think I have any fans, to be honest. Um, we put, I remember we put, you put up a poll. Like, who, who have you got to win the league? I think you had like five or six votes, and I had zero. No love for the defending champions. Dude, I was honestly but, surprised I got so many votes. <laughs> I, hope I, hope I, got one, I hope I get at least one fan. That, that, would, be, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll vote for the one fan that I might get. Well, PML fans, if you were a, co- if you were a supporter of the Townsville Crocodiles... I know uh, the logo I have here is misspelled, but go for them, guys, Uh, even though I'm one of the finalists. 
And um, hopefully we have an exciting end to this season. I'm sure it will be very exciting. It will be very, very close. No matter who wins it. Yeah, hopefully the person who's in it is recording. Yes. Yes, indeed. (laughs) All right, guys. All right, Jay. That's it from uh, PML Studios, I guess you can call it. And that is it from Jaden as well. Y'all have a good night, and just keep on supporting PML. Thanks, Jay. Bye. No problem, man.